Okay, uh, this is uh, Super Mario Land 3, Wario Land. Uh, just a few weeks ago, I played through 1 and 2 for the first time, so I guess I'll be 3 now. Uh, yeah, so I guess this one's supposed to be a fair bit different than the other two. Uh, of course, it's got Wario. I think it's supposed to have, again, a bit more kind of like, you know, not Metroidvania exactly, but uh, from what I've gathered, there's more, uh, you know, searching and using some power ups and stuff. At least that's what I thought it was supposed to be. Uh, I had kind of thought that about two, and well, I guess I was wrong there, so I don't know. Alright, so I got. Uh, Something. I don't know if that's just... Okay, he's got the hat, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Uh, it's still just... Uh, charging. Oh. Okay, I can throw a coin or something by pressing up. Uh, up and B. They aren't uh, too important. I'm guessing it's probably, I don't know, maybe a hundred of them gets you another life. Wario is significantly less powerful when he's not big. Oh, okay, the, uh, I can't do the butt slam anymore. That heart block got me hit. And it takes two hits to break things. And I can't, uh, shoulder bash either. So I don't know if, maybe it's just the later games. I had thought uh, Wario was supposed to be basically invincible, but, uh... Okay, I don't know what to do there. I guess I need a different power-up. Yeah, I thought Wario was supposed to be uh, basically invincible, but then, uh, you know, you're just... You know, you gotta figure out uh, how to beat the levels and, uh, you know, use the power-ups. And, like, getting hit would give you different power-ups. 
Uh, maybe that's just the other games. Ah, uh, so I need to get a certain amount of coins to escape the dungeons, or the levels, I guess. to choose, I guess. Get what was going on there. Uh, I guess it was just luck, or I don't know if there's some uh, something you can do there to uh, pick the better one. Uh, level two now. All right, yeah. So uh, just uh, getting another one of those things makes you liking uh, more, you Try and get into the uh, pop area. up there from uh, killing that enemy. Uh. Yeah, so I don't, uh, I'll have to check. Uh, I guess you maybe get hearts when you kill an enemy. So you get one heart every time you kill an enemy, and then a hundred gets you one up.
Wario is definitely slower than Mario. Uh, I don't know if I'm supposed to be just, uh... Yeah, I can't, uh, I can't even run or anything. at least some minimum amount of coins. I guess it's just luck, like, I don't see any differences or anything. Yeah, I don't know what those letters are. Uh, I thought it might have been a password, but they're just going in linear order, uh, A, B, C, D, and so on. Uh, which I wouldn't expect for a password. I'll be able to just uh, save state anyways, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I'm guessing this game probably would have, uh, I don't know, I don't know if it would have, uh, probably wouldn't have a battery uh, backup. Uh, a password would probably be good enough. And really all it's got to save is like the level you're on. Uh, how many coins and hearts and stuff you have, so... Um, it's really just the... Uh, uh, the level could be one byte, uh, hearts, lives... Uh, like, hearts and lives, that would be uh, one byte each. Um, coins would be two bytes. Yeah, so it's like five bytes of data. It's got a store, basically. Uh, assuming the levels are linear, I guess. If they're uh, non-linear, you need to uh, store the state of individual levels, I guess. So uh, a couple more, but yeah, it'd be fine for a password. So I don't know what that is, uh, it doesn't seem to be doing anything, uh, oh yeah, I can't butt slam when I'm, uh, Dragon Warrior. Uh, yeah, I don't know if that's a, uh, checkpoint? I don't really care for how slow Wario goes. Uh, I wish he would uh, speed up a little bit. Okay, so that's where yeah, I would need the uh, Viking Wario. Okay, so I can uh, go back to that other spot. Uh, I don't know, I might as well go see. It's probably just coins, I guess. Yeah, so that does make us go a little bit faster. 
Uh, okay, that's nice. Uh, this carries you over edges, and then you can still jump. Okay, there's no point going in there anyway. Yeah. I have to get out this way. Okay, yeah, I guess I could have just got in there by falling down a waterfall earlier. I guess I didn't need to open that one. don't really care for these ones. Uh, at least the ones in the previous games were uh, not entirely luck based. And they were faster too. These ones were a bit slow to do. The, uh, sitting there and waiting for them to pull the string and stuff. Uh, I think after, the ne after this uh, map I'll try and uh, do the life one. Uh, and see if it's different. stage or something than anything.
hard. Alright, I got one of them anyways. to get too many to uh, even get a new life. Okay, I guess in the previous level, uh, there was the two exits, uh, so because I took the, uh, hidden exit, uh, I got access to this level. But I guess this is an easy way to grind. Coins if I ever need to. Uh, better, better do this part. Uh, it'd be faster just to uh, not have to do any of these ending games. Got to do uh, this level again and uh, go through the regular exit. Okay, you can't uh, side slam. It is annoying that you can't move uh, side to side when you're under the waterfall. Alright, I think I would rather do neither of these, but... Uh... I guess this one on average does give me coins.
Oh, I guess I gotta hurry. I'm gonna be chased by him. Yeah, the, uh, the shoulder slam would be uh, much better here. I gotta wait for him and then just ride him across. Yeah, I'm not sure why that one was already, uh, open. Okay, good. I don't have to do the games. I think I'll just skip them from now on. It's faster just to get coins from doing the levels, I think. More reliable. Same with the hearts. Okay, good. Wario crouches automatically if he just uh, gets through a thing. What do I do here? Okay, yeah, I don't. I guess I'll have to just keep that in mind. I don't know if that was a, uh, a hidden exit or the normal exit, and I'm going to the hidden one now. Jump under him. Okay, 
okay. That's just kind of weird. Uh, I can't remember any other Mario boss where you jump up into them. Well, I guess it makes sense, Mario always, uh, you know, that's how he breaks bricks. You should be able to break bosses like that. But, uh, you can do there. I don't know. I don't know. Are you supposed to be able to get a password or something there? How to uh, set those off? I mean, if you have to get really close to them. touch it because that might kill me, but I would like if it would break the uh, thing. Okay, I don't know, if they're just random or something though. It is nice, it makes you big Wario again after a map. Okay, so this is fairly linear so far. Uh, maybe it's one of the later games that are a bit more uh, open. Or I'm just misremembering.
Okay, I guess I can just go through them, and they only hurt you when they explode. That must be a midpoint. I was just gonna fly through the whole thing, but uh, I guess really I do need to get at least some coins so that I can exit. I still haven't died though. Uh, I guess if I ever do die, I'll know uh, if that's what that's for.
Mm, yeah, I wonder how many courses there are. Uh, I think uh, how long to beat.com said the game takes about four hours to beat. Uh, I guess I'm about maybe half an hour in now. 40 minutes maybe? And uh, on course 15, so. Yeah, I guess, what, 20%? Three and a half hours left. Uh, half an hour. It's, uh, what's this? Uh, I guess I guess there's maybe I don't know, sixty courses in total. Yeah, I think this lets you jump higher too. I thought for some reason that would be the uh, just the uh, rocket hat again, but I just wanted to see uh, if you would get like coins or something for getting the same power up twice. Uh, but I guess it's the dragon. Uh, okay, I guess the dragon can't really melt anything. In here. That was another thing I was kind of curious about. If the dragon could melt those, but uh, it didn't seem to be that. Yeah, I guess. I think if that is uh, just a checkpoint, it's kind of a waste, because I still haven't died. Uh, but I might as well activate them anyways. I think the dragon's my uh, least favorite power up. Ah, uh, okay. I bet the dragon could have melted those. Yeah, I like the other two, the Viking and uh, Motor Hat better, because they, uh, they increase your movement abilities. You're just kind of slow if you've got the Dragon Hat. Okay, maybe... maybe that wasn't melting with the Dragon. I bet that's actually, uh, it was like a switch block then. Yeah, okay, that's what it was. Okay. Okay, I got a 1-up from getting that again. Uh, it must have given me something when I got it then, like hearts or something. If I had the rocket hat, I could uh, shoot through underneath that.
I don't have enough coins. Uh, I guess that's the hidden exit. Again though, not enough coins, so it doesn't really matter. Wario's probably got a pretty forgiving hitbox in this. Uh, I seem to be getting very close to being hit, uh, but not actually getting hit very often. These guys are annoying. Ah, uh, okay. Uh... Oh no. Uh oh, this is bad. What am I supposed to do? Alright, I... I guess I'll uh, see where I start off again. Probably at the beginning. Yep. This level's kind of slow and not terribly fun. Yeah, it's those... Okay, I guess I probably should have just thrown that and then, uh... Uh, like, you know, body slam charged up. Oh, well, that's... I guess I'm beating it without the key. These guys are a pain. Oh, I know. I shouldn't be breaking these. Well, that helps too, but, uh, yeah, when I set the switch, uh, I'll be able to just run across them. Yeah, there, there we go. That's what I should have been doing. So I'm curious what that key would have done. And maybe it would uh, unlock it instead of paying coins. Glad that level's done. Uh, that one wasn't terribly fun. Uh, moving around on the ice is just slow and awkward. And, uh, carrying that key the entire time meant I couldn't use uh, powers or anything. 
what made it even more slow. I don't really want hearts, I want uh, any power up basically. Alright, good. Okay, you can even Okay, you can body slam those guys from the front. Uh, I had thought that maybe you wouldn't be able to because we've got the spike on the front. I'd figured you were supposed to get them like from behind or uh, jump on them. is the checkpoint. Okay, I'm, rocking that again. I'm not sure what the uh, power-up sprite is supposed to be. It, it looks like a like breathing mask or something, like in an airplane. It comes down. Uh, but, uh, I don't know. When I first saw it, I had assumed it was uh, like a scuba mask or something, and it was going to be a water power up. Because uh, I think I, I think the first time I saw it, it was like right next to some water. So, uh, but I guess that's not it. I guess that means I must be uh, done with this place. supposed to do there. Yes, okay, so that is a uh, checkpoint. Yeah, unless there's another like, crazy difficulty spike in this, I don't think I'm going to be running out of lives. Although, I guess I'm not getting them quite as uh, quickly as I was in 2 and 1. Alright, so I jump on them. Comes back to that. But 
I do hit him from behind then. I thought he hurt me when I came from behind before. Okay, I'm not sure how you're supposed to beat that then. Uh, as little a uh, little Wario. Alright, that was a lot of lives too. We got 15 lives. Sure, where I'm supposed to go now. Uh, I guess I beat Sherbert Land. Uh, Mount Teapot must have another uh, another spot to beat or something. Okay, so the uh, levels with the circle inside the circle seem to have a second exit. So I, I guess there's something else in here.
Yeah, I, I went up there last time, so... Uh, I guess that Nita Sherbert land or whatever uh, it was, uh, I guess, a hidden area. I don't know if you have to do Sherbert land or... Anyways, this should let me... Okay, yeah. So I can continue Mount Teapot. So I've been trying to think of uh, what other Game Boy games I actually had, because well, I got a Game Boy Color uh, that would have been sometime between the release of uh, Blue Red and uh, Gold Silver, or you know even before Pikachu. So I got Pikachu uh, Day One. Uh, so I, I did have a Game Boy sometime around then. I guess it would have been like ninety. Game Boy Color around like 97 or so. Uh, which I guess was kind of getting on in the Game Boy's uh, life. I think Pokemon, they were kind of towards the end. Uh, so yeah, I know I had like red, blue, yellow, uh, silver, gold. Uh, the trading card game at one point. Oh, I had Magi Nation as well. Um, uh, Mario Tennis. Uh, that was uh, fun playing that, connected to the uh, N64. I had it on the N64 as well. Uh, I remember you could, uh, because Mario Tennis on the Game Boy Color was like an RPG kind of, uh, by the end of the game your characters were like super strong, and so then if you transferred them into uh, the N64 one, uh, they were just miles better than every other character, like, in every way. the key to not pay. Uh, there's only one exit from that level, so... I kind of want to just fly through the level, but, uh... uh also, I need to get coins. I wonder if I can just, uh, headbutt those guys from underneath. Yeah, I gotta be small to get under there, I guess. had uh Link uh Legend of Zelda I should not uh, Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Uh or no not Link's Awakening, uh Oracle of uh, Aegis. Uh, I never played uh, Link's Awakening until recently. Uh, my cousin had the uh, Oracle of Seasons. Uh, 
Uh, I think I did eventually get uh, Oracle of Seasons as well. Okay, is that gonna kill me? Yeah. Oh well. Yeah, so I had Oracle of Ages and Seasons. Um, uh, oh, I had uh, Dragon Quest uh, Monsters uh, 1 and 2. Actually, yeah, I played, uh, a couple of years ago, I played the remake of Dragon Quest Monsters on the uh, 3DS. Uh, I don't know if it came out here, but there's a, uh, there was in Japan, anyways, a remake of uh, Dragon Quest Monsters on the uh, 3DS. Uh, it's pretty much the exact same game. Like, they've updated, uh, you know, of course it's 3D and stuff, but uh, they didn't really change the game too much. And then I had, uh, I don't know, Dragon Warrior 1 and 3, the collection. Uh, and that's, that's about it that I can uh, remember. Uh, I don't think I really had any other games. Uh, I remember renting uh, one of the Final Fantasy uh, Saga games. That's actually about it. I don't think I even rented that many other games for it. Uh, I guess I had Pokemon, but I just played over and over and over again. Uh, and it was at the end of the lifespan, anyways. Yeah, and I... I know the, uh, the Pokemon games were like Game Boy games, uh, enhanced for Game Boy Color, so they had, uh... You know, some colors if you put them in the uh, game of color. Uh, I don't think I had any Game Boy like specific games, like uh, gray cartridges. I think I had quite a few more uh, Game Boy Advance games, though. Uh, I think I got it pretty close to the release date, uh, and I yeah I played it a ton. Uh, what did I? I think I started off with uh, the Castlevania game, uh, Circles of the Moon, I believe. I don't know if I beat it. I don't remember if I beat it at the time. I have beat it since, I think, but, uh... Yeah, uh, yeah actually, I think I, I probably did beat it because I had the player's guide that came with Nintendo Power around the release of the Game Boy Advance. Uh, it had guides for, I believe, uh, F-Zero, uh, Castlevania, I believe there's a Mario game, maybe, and uh, something else. There was, I think, there was four guides in the game, in the in the guidebook for all, uh, like the Game Boy Advance release titles, the launch titles. Okay, now that that is a key. Uh, so yeah, I had the... I wasn't, like, really that good at Metroidvanias at that time. Like, I just always got lost, and you know, I was a kid or whatever. Uh, but yeah, I had the guide, and uh, the guide also had, like, a, a cheat in it that let you get... Uh,
basically like any of the powers like right from very early in the game. Uh, okay. So each of those is uh, one of the letters. Okay. Uh, well then that's uh... That's not good then if we... I, I really hope I don't need them to in the game. Uh, I hope it's just an ending thing, like I'll, I'll just get the worst ending or something, because uh, there's no way I'm going through the game again to uh, get uh, all those crowns that I've probably missed. Yeah, this is probably safer. Yeah, just in case that was all a really long... Uh, yeah, I don't know what I'll do if I need to... I'll probably just use a guide or something if I have to go back and get all those. Uh, there's no way I'm gonna re just redo all the levels looking for them. So I also had the two Metabots games. Uh, yeah, on the Game Boy Advance. Advance Wars. Uh, yeah, I just brought up the list of the games I beat for the Game Boy Advance. Um, and, uh, yeah, I had the Advance Wars 1 and 2. Uh, I played those quite a bit. Uh, and I played them on the DS, and I guess that's kind of where they ended with the DS. But, yeah, I played quite a bit of them. Okay, I can headbutt those guys. I guess you can do that with most enemies. Like Mario can't normally do that, which is weird, but uh, I guess Wario can. Uh, I had uh, a Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. That one I really like. Uh, I had the Fire Emblem game. Oh, Tactics Ogre, The Knight of Lotus. That's probably my favorite uh, tactical RPG. Oh, what's this here? A boss? Or wait, what is... Uh... Okay, no, I haven't beat this one. I don't know, it's just kind of weird that it sent me back to like the middle of the map to do this one. Interesting, I'm not sure what goes down there. If there's a new power-up I'm about to get. Alright, I want to get that. Okay, I guess I can't.
Yeah, and I think that's, I guess, all the... I can't think of... I don't have any others on my list here of the games that I beat, and, uh... I can't think of any other, uh, Game Boy Advance games. So, uh, for some reason, I thought I had quite a few, but, uh... I guess I didn't really have that many. I do like the Game Boy Advance, though. You know, it's like a portable Super Nintendo, basically. So I've, you know, I've played a lot of other games since then. I'm not gonna mess around with that. I'll just end up dying. that way. In here, maybe? No. I start off right next to him anyways. I guess if I didn't have this power up, I would just be dead here. Like, you wouldn't be able to do anything as small, Wario. Okay, uh... Alright, you just... you just gotta have the power up, I guess. Fall, fall, fall. Okay. I have to go a bit faster. 
you in there. I kind of, I got so far ahead of it that I kind of uh, let my guard down. And, uh, didn't realize I'd have to go like all the way to the right and then all the way to the left again. I don't know. I... I guess they do hurt you if you run into them from the front. I thought, uh... earlier that it happened and, uh, it had actually hurt the, the enemy instead of me. Uh, maybe he was mid-turn before, so I actually hit him from behind or something. down there just to get the uh, coins. Yeah, that's, that cuts it pretty tight there. It's not the uh, Mario Star song. It's not uh, the Mario Land 1 Star song either. Uh, whatever that one was, the, the classical music. somewhere. Hmm. Uh, maybe there was a key somewhere earlier in the uh, running away from the lava part. Those jumps are pretty tight. You really gotta just, you know, just make them basically. Uh, unless I, if I have this, I guess I should be able to uh, charge over and then jump. anything else you can use the coins for because it's weird that they have a special button action just for 
using the, the coin there. When they could have it just, like, subtract if you've got enough. Without having to press anything. I wonder if you can, like, throw them at enemies? Although that seems kind of a waste to use 10 coins just to, uh, throw at an enemy, but... I guess I'll give it a try. Uh, once I've got, like, 20 coins, I'll try doing that. Fireballs are not. I was being very careful there. I didn't want to go just like a little bit too low and fall off the uh, ladder thing. Uh, it's so annoying that uh, those birds hurt Wario when he crashes into the in midair. misjudged how far his uh, shoulder tackle would take him. Time to land and jump again. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hmm, I think it does get you a bit of, uh, maybe gets you a bit of horizontal like, momentum if you, uh, just even if you don't carry yourself off the edge, if you just start the, uh, side thing. I bet that would bounce me way up there. Uh, to a uh, the second exit. But uh, I would need to go off the minecart to do that. level seems like it's going to be a pain. Yeah, those guys were bothered. The, the fireball thing. It's like I gotta wait at every platform just to see if there's a fireball that's going to come. Yeah, I had thought that that was going to be the uh, flying thing. Uh. Yeah, I maybe I should have crouch jumped out of there so that I wouldn't have uh, hit my head. more in Stove Canyon than I have in the rest of the game so far. Lay there. It like waits just long enough that it hits you. Yeah, I shouldn't have thought that. Yeah, that's what you gotta do. Crouch jump. I'm just gonna go back. I really don't want to do that first part again. Yeah, that's a tight jump there. You can just wait. You don't have to, uh... You, you can wait till one starts to sink and then jump to the next. I was trying to just race through all at once. Fast. 
that's a long, uh, long stretch to the boss. I'm kind of stuck. <laughs> Okay, it wasn't... yeah, I wondered why I heard him, but uh, I gotta just pick up the uh, boogers or whatever, and uh, go back at them. I kind of hit him like on the top of the head. Okay, it's the nose, I guess. break here and probably beat the rest of this tomorrow. Uh, I think I'm about know, an hour and a half or two hours in, so probably about halfway. Alright, I'm back. Uh, I guess I'll keep going. I wonder if those birds are supposed to be able to hold me somehow. Like maybe if you're a small Wario.
Yeah, I burned through a lot of lives in that last level. Yeah, I think I must have died, I don't know, ten times in total on the last world. I much prefer like, any of the other power-ups to this. Yeah, it's, it's just not worth the, uh, I don't know, decrease in uh, movement. Alright, I'm guessing there's gonna be a key in here somewhere. Let me get the key, no? Okay. Uh, unless I missed the key, it was uh, earlier on. Oh, good. Be crown two, I guess. Oh, okay, they're not all crowns, they're just uh, treasures, I guess. A knife. Uh, they missed, uh, they could have had a different treasure for each letter. The, the knife could have been on K, and the crown could have been on C. Guess I just gotta head back this way. I don't lose it. That seems to happen. Uh, as soon as I get this, I end up getting hit. Let's up here. Okay. I was just curious if that was pulling down or not. And it doesn't look like there's any uh, indication on which levels have treasures in them, because obviously they can't all have them. Uh, no point in getting that. Unless, uh... Yeah, it, it gave me hearts. Just sometimes I can't tell in the, uh... I don't know, the, uh, I end up getting uh, something that's not this. Uh, gives me the dragon head instead. Oh uh, yeah, see I don't... I don't get what the collision is. Like sometimes you crash into them and uh, you know, you damage them and sometimes they damage you. I guess underwater the dragon is better. 
but I'd still rather have this. It's nice that you can jump out of the water easier. I know in a lot of games, uh, other Mario games, jumping out of the water is kind of finicky. Like in Mario 64. But this, you just launch right out. Interesting. I don't know if that's just the Viking hat, if it gets stuck in... Oh! Okay, I didn't know the Viking hat could... It must just be it then. Yeah, you can just stick to the ceiling anywhere. Yeah, okay. That's interesting. Oh. Now I like the dragon hat even less. I wonder what these guys are supposed to be. Like, they don't look like, uh normal Mario enemies. They're not uh, Goombas or anything. I don't think they appear in any of the other games. So, I don't know, kind of a lot of bother for what it was. Yeah, I guess if I had any, if I had any other power up, I could get through there. The uh, jet, I could just uh, fly through. The Viking, I could uh, butt slam down. One good thing about the dragon, it's good for taking care of uh, those birds and stuff like that that tend to be a bit, uh, I get hit by them quite often if I've got the other power-ups. Thank you. 
wondered if I could get up there. They had the bird kind of placed where I think I maybe could have like bounced off them. You know, if it wasn't possible to get up there, but uh, I guess not. So, I guess if, I assume that the treasures are, you know, placed roughly in order, like Treasure O will be kind of in the last level, then I guess I am, uh, you know, about, uh, I don't know, 70% of the way through, 60%. I guess I'll need to get a third treasure just to confirm that. I'll see if the if the third one is uh, after what I've got now. Okay, so there should be a key somewhere in here. This place is a bit more maze-like than some of the others. And I also, I want to get the key if I can. I guess I'll just backtrack. I don't know. I can't really tell if this place goes around in circles and stuff, or uh, if it is kind of like a branching linear. this way. Okay, I did go in here though, that was where I got the, uh, I don't know, I don't know what Wario's thing is, his mushroom equivalent, the, uh, bottle or whatever. Okay, yeah, I guess they do go in order.
I wasn't uh, as difficult as I thought it would be. Uh, I don't really like mazes too much. It was uh, pretty linear. Another treasure. They're denser than normal here, I think, because uh, there's only, what, 12 treasures, I think? Uh, but there's way more than that uh, levels. I guess I'll, I'll see if I can find the uh, key. Alright, now I just gotta find the keyhole again. Uh, I wasn't really even paying attention. I don't uh, remember what the keyhole was. Okay, it was just sitting there here. Yeah, so they definitely do go in order. Like, I'm not going to be finding Treasure A uh, from now on. Yeah, I I really hope that it, I don't get to the end and it's like, sorry, go like find all the treasures before you can uh, beat the game. Like uh, one of the bird bosses from uh, Donkey Kong Country.
That one. Uh, the, I guess I did have it for a while. Oh, too bad. Yeah, I wonder what that is supposed to be. Is it like a pumpkin? Is there a reason why Wario's wearing like a Spelunker hat instead of like his Wario hat? I guess because he's searching for treasure. I guess there's uh, 15 treasures, not 12. Uh, still not one per world or per level. Oh, 
Oh no, I guess... Would that have, uh... Maybe that changes some of the previous level? I'd rather just go along at my own pace. Now, would I die if I just jumped down onto the track? Oh, that was close. I'm kind of wondering if there's something way out, like if I jump way off the side, then I would be able to get something like a, I don't know, a key.
Yeah, I guess even small Wario kills those birds. I kind of had wondered if uh, maybe small Wario would not kill them and you could just ride them. I was curious if like, the screen would scroll way over, but uh, I guess not. I'm gonna try and find this, I guess. Yeah, I did think probably if there was a key, it would be in like this area. Well, like the branching paths and stuff. Okay, I guess that really is a football then, because we got a ball glove, I think. Alright, we're getting pretty close to the end, I think. I'm guessing next will be the last world. I'll, I'll, th it'll be this level, then the boss level, and then I'll go to like the final world.
I guess the Viking can break those in one hit. At least I think that seems to be what's happening. was going to be a key in one of these levels, it'd be there, like at the end of one of those uh, tracks, you would go up top to get it. Yeah, I don't get, I still don't get why some of them have the uh, level open at the end, and some of them you have to pay 10 coins. Hopefully that's the end of the uh, auto-scrolling track levels. like specifically not hitting the block because I thought I would rebound into his shot but uh, he was a bit further right than I expected that cloud. Oh, that... Okay, that's annoying. I thought that was why they had those there, was so that you could crouch in them. I noticed earlier that he does, uh, he travels over top of them, so I thought that if I was crouching it wouldn't hit you. I'm supposed to uh, jump on the spear guys and then throw them at him, I think. Uh, 
spear enemies are weird hitboxes in this. Like, sometimes I think I hit them from the front, and I don't, and I get... And, uh, you know, other times I do damage them from the front, and I don't know, they just seem very inconsistent. Okay, I guess I gotta actually throw them at him, not just uh, jump up into him with them. Alright, let's try that again. Uh, it's annoying because there is a, you know, a fair bit of a run back to the place. All these annoying spiky balls, and this guy. Go. Is he, uh... Okay, he's just lagging behind or something. If you just stay in the corner, then he tends to drop ghosts on your head and you get trapped. But if you try and run back and forth, you're not fast enough, and he swoops down and freezes you. Not really sure what the best thing to do in there is. I guess if you've got one of the... I don't know. Maybe the jet would be good, you could quickly move back and forth. Oh yeah, this this looks like the last level. The last world. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. Uh, I don't know. I didn't see anywhere where the key could be used before. Uh, I guess I'll just remember that level has a key in case I have to come back. I wasn't going to bother uh, searching for it. I'm assuming that one's probably N. I could go back and hit the thing to get those, but uh, that's a bother. Should've got the power up. There's so many blocks to break here. It would be nice if I could uh, move a bit faster. Even the dragon would be welcome. I get the dragon, and then that's the end of the uh, block area. I don't know why I like saw that and then just like instinctively jumped into it. Oh well, I'm big Wario now. That's weird. Wario can't jump off the ladders, so you just gotta like fall off them to the left. I don't know. It just uh, feels weird doing that.
stopping? Is he uh, taking off? Uh, space level next. I bet there's there's something up there. There's probably like the key up there. If I had the Viking, I could get in there. Yeah, I didn't notice that those were. Uh, I didn't notice that those were going uh, just one direction. I'd assumed they were going like uh, all the way up and then all the way down. So I thought it would just uh, come back up. I was hoping there wasn't going to be a boss there. So it was a uh, fair distance from the last checkpoint. Course 40. Okay. I wonder if this is the last one.
lot of those uh, power ups here in this level. boss. I guess this will be the... okay, not the boss. Yeah, Mario, I don't he doesn't hang on to those, like in the area that I would expect. I kept falling off there because I was too low. Last boss, I guess? Oh, there's a pirate girl. I kind of don't remember that opening cutscene, so I don't know what's supposed to be happening. I guess she's the villain. To, uh, okay, yeah, that part. We continue from here. Really? Every time I want to refight the last boss, I've got to go through all that and then uh, fight this mini boss again. That's a pain. Uh, hopefully, I won't die to him too many times then. Got gone, oh, I gotta go through this part too.
right, so I guess I gotta knock around the lamp until it lands uh, right side up. Uh, that causes bubbles to come out of it, which I can uh, use as platforms to jump on its head. pain in the ass having to go through all this every time. on there. There's, it seems there's coins up there in the sky that you can't see. Because my counter was going up when Wario was off screen. That'll kill him, but it just bounces him up here where he becomes a problem. Yeah, that's annoying. It takes like five minutes to get back here. pretty fast once they hit the ground.
I don't know if the fireballs can hurt you while they're, like, in the air. That's why I didn't jump on him earlier, because I was worried that, uh... You know, I would get killed by the fireballs when they came off his finger. Okay, that's three hits. Okay, he takes more. I should jump on them instead of uh, into them. like three minutes to get back here and I was going pretty quick there. Okay, you can't butt slam his head. Doesn't uh Thank <laughs> you. 
They don't seem to hurt you when they're in the air, though. Well, at least this isn't as bad as the, uh, as the difficulty spike as, uh, I think it was one. I don't know if it was one or two, but, uh, one of them had just, like, a crazy difficulty spike in the last level. And this is mostly not very difficult, just the final boss. I think I was just thinking the reason I probably didn't have very many Game Boy games was that I had Pokemon, like all the Pokemon. Uh, and they are, like, as I've, you know, really found out in my uh, recent uh, Let's Play of Blue, uh, they are, like, so time consuming. Like, it, like, I played it for 13 real hours, but I was fast forwarding and stuff. And it actually took me, like, you know, it was like 40 in-game hours or something to beat it. Which, you know, it's... That's quite a bit. And I was beating them, like, over and over and over and, like, you know, all the different versions. And I'd, you know, I'd, re I'd beat one and then transfer all my Pokemon to another and then beat that one and then... Uh, you know, just over and over or so... I probably didn't even want any other Game Boy games, really. Uh, it would be nice if that bubble would have stayed, and I could have, uh, you know, started this off with, uh, you know, being able to hit him from it. Yeah, I'll have to be careful with, uh, picking that up, because there's a... I noticed there's like a half a second delay after uh, you pick it up where you can't move. Oh, okay, they can hurt you in the air. Alright. I thought I had gone through one before, but uh, I guess not. Okay, it's just another thing to be careful of here. Landed on him again. Got three hits out of one balloon. jump on her now? No?
Okay, we made a statue of Peach for Mario to come and steal. I guess you say you get one wish. Uh, he wants a castle. And I'd like to pay him for the wish. Uh, okay, I think I... I think I had heard about this uh, before. Uh, okay, so it's just the... The ending is determined by uh, how many coins I got and how many treasures. Hmm. So I wonder if the the treasures themselves, you know, have any real effect, or if it's if they just add to your coin count. If I could, you know, if you could just grind coins and not get the treasures and still get the best ending. Money bags. I guess that's the second worst ending. Okay, Wario gets a hollowed out tree. Wario's Woods happens next. That's where it comes after in the Mario timeline. I don't know what's up with that text, if that's a emulation bug or it's supposed to be like that. Anyway. Well, that was uh, fairly fun. I know it was okay. I think I like the other two Mario Lands better. Uh, Wario is kind of slow, and you know if he doesn't have any of his power ups, then he feels really kind of slow and useless. Whereas Mario is still pretty, you know, fast. He can run and jump pretty well. Uh, also, didn't care that the Dragon Hat was kind of. Uh, you know, a downgrade, because you can no longer uh, side bash to travel faster. Uh, it was overall fairly easy, except for the uh, last boss. Yeah, I guess, uh, I don't know, overall fairly good. Uh, I may someday play the other Wario land games. Uh, I don't think I'll do them anytime soon, though. Uh, but I guess that wraps up the uh, Mario Land trilogy on the Game Boy. Uh, I guess I'll just uh, leave the credits here. Uh, I don't think there's much else to say.